Bonjour, and welcome to the Amateur Detective Club. This club is exactly how it sounds. A bunch of amateurs talking about their favorite mysteries. So if you encounter a real mystery or a murder, contact the proper authorities. Do not come to us. We do not know what we are doing. But enjoy the program. Allons-y. Let us begin. Quand il me prend dans ses bras, il me parle du pain. Je vois la vie en rose. Il me dit des mots d'amour, des mots. Uh, okay. Hello, I'm calling this one the. Or- <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to <laughs> Amateur Detective Club. Amateur, indeed. <laughs> I don't. Zing like... got us. <laughs> anime zing. Uh, got got me. So I'm I'm Tristan, the the kid cop, and I'm calling this meeting to order. I'm I'm Miles Newworth, boy detective. I'm Christina Tucker, the widow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Did I kill all my ex-husbands? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But only probably. So, Christine Tucker from Anime Zing, one of my other podcasts, slash my girlfriend is here and she's to talk about the book Head On by John Scalzi. I like the idea that we have this probable criminal on, like maybe as some sort of sting operation. Like they get her to slip up. On recorded Do you media. Think this I have lots of good information for you guys, and how I gathered it is none of your business. <laughs> now I got a quick question. Do you think the the sequel to B movie will be a parody of The Sting? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> now that we have <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, we're all very sleepy today. So, um, this book, huh, guys? <laughs> this is yeah. This is a uh, we it's we read a book. <laughs> Uh, we listened to a Will Wheaton. <laughs> we listened to Will Wheaton read a book to us called Head On by John Scalzi, sequel to Lock In. Quick question: So everybody listened to the Will Wheaton version and not the Allison Benson version or whatever her name is? Amber Benson. Amber Benson. Uh, yeah, this time because we we I it's the one that I own. Yeah, interesting. And I was we just didn't want to buy That's another it. copy in, right now. Cause, also, her um, version's like two hours long. poor. Yeah. Which is actually a selling point for me. That's knuckin' futz. Because she's reading slower. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm interested. She got the secret scenes that Scalzi put in. Like, Will didn't get that copy with the secret scenes. <laughs> the way- <laughs> if you look real close at the print, like, there's extra scenes. It's weird. Yeah, like, in be- in literally reading in between the lines. There's yeah. like. Boom. <laughs> This is my girlfriend, everybody. <laughs> I think so, I bring a new energy. You certainly like, do. Melissa is such a good, kind person <laughs> and like nice to listen to, and has a nice voice and you a nice have a spirit. Beautiful voice and a beautiful spirit. Stallion of the Cimarron, you are. Remember that movie? Yeah, remember spirit. that movie. So Stallion this book. of the Cimmerillion. <laughs> Cinnamon of the Cimmerillion is mess. So. This book starts with uh, a sport. Does anyone, you, Miles, you want to do the summarize that sport? Yeah, of course. What is it called? Jenga. Helketa. Um, Helketa, which is a I don't remember the language. It's a bast. 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 Basque <laughs> language uh, for murder. Basque, um, if you can. And what's fun if you're reading this book uh, and you play too much Overwatch like me, you just think of it as Overwatch because they keep oh. talking about Overwatch. Weird. They- Halfway through the book, Skulls is just like, by the way, it's super Overwatch. Actually- <laughs> but only in the Amber Benson version because that's a secret <laughs> scene. <laughs> but it is one of those things, though, of like, they do mention, well, uh, Hellcat is a video game. It's like, yeah, John, we get it. Yeah. It's a video game. Um... Uh, so Helketa is a sport what? that is uh, notable for being one very new and two very Something popular blue. among people with the Hayden's disease, which we're not going to explain again. Go back, listen to the previous Isn't, episode. Yeah. Um, I also find, by the way, find it fascinating that they talk about the NBA still being a thing. So like all the old sports still, still there. Think, yeah. We yeah. just came up with a new sport. Yeah, and it's Hayden's. just because. Yeah. yeah, it's That's just because. On the one hand, Haydens didn't weren't able to play in professional sports, and on the other, like the idea of Which, people controlling robot bodies does open up a lot of 
Here's Can the other thing. Well, you don't have to be a Hayden to play Hilketa. You Number one, you don't, but there's, they're not very good. But number two... Absolutely, people with Hayden's disease can play in the NBA. They would just be using a three. Yeah. But they Yeah, did. they can, but they don't let them. Which is bad. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, they absolutely... So you can't play in, like, just regular human sports if you are using well, a Not three. on a professional level. It's just because... Well, sure. Because like, it's not fair. Yeah, well, like... you would be... You just make sure it's the same stats as... The thing is, it wouldn't be that... Like, humans inherently have different stats from each other. Yeah. Because they're not so robots. So, you would, you would have to make, like, a standard... If you're a three-playing three, NBA... Yeah. Yes, but... What, what, des- what decides what the standard... I want to see C-3PO dunk. What is this... What would decide... <laughs> like, what is, like, standard stats for someone to have in the NBA? Like, it's... Tall? How tall, though? <laughs> Very. Because Shaquille O'Neal's like 7'5". That's not normal. Six, it's like that, seven. That's it? You just like pick an old basketball yeah, player you and you're download like, an old- their, their body. It's like Aaron My Bay. heart. My it's heart like, in their body. Can't lose. <laughs> can't it's like lose. an Xbox game. You just get to cycle through Yeah, yeah. All what the is boys. it called? What is it called? Um, NBA a, Jam? Slam No, a, a Game Plus. NBA Street It's a Game good. Plus. It's a new Game Plus. plus yeah. 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 <laughs> but anyway, Hellketta. All right. No, Hellketta is... Uh, is and notable because you all the players are in threeps, and there's four different types of threeps on the field. There's a general threep, a warrior a threep, a scour, a scour, a scout threep, and a tank threep. It's kind of like them, Team Fortress Two. It's kind of like them, the snitch game. What's it's it called? them referring to tank threeps so often. Yeah, uh, that made me think of it oh, as like classes. Yeah, yeah. Overwatch. Yeah, yeah. It, which um, is very similar. To, uh, yeah, actually, uh, just in but, general. But the goal is, uh, and they have medieval weapons, and the goal is every play, a player from each team is designated as the GOAT, and they Pulled almost that. explain why it's called the GOAT, and then they didn't. Um, because John Scalzi is like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Greatest of all time, baby. Yeah. Um, and the, the goal <laughs> is for, you have to fight the other team. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let him pass. Let him just, it's fine. You have to rip off the goat's head and then put it into the scoring zone at the end of the field. So yeah, it's yeah. like, it's like, it's like Griff Ball. Yeah. Do you remember Griff Ball no. from Red vs. Blue? No. Oh my God. Do you remember Griff Ball, everybody? Hey, Hi, hey, it's everybody. me, buddy. Remember, Gr- it's your it's your good friend Griff Ball. Remember Red vs. Blue? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's Helketa. Basically, one of the players dies. What's his name? Dwayne Chapman. Chapman. Thank you. One of the players dies mid uh, mid game, and they're trying to figure out why. Which, by the way, that whole thing was very confusing for me because it was not immediately clear that his human body was the one that died, and I was like, I don't get oh. why this is a big deal. I like don't the three body Isn't, dials. Die. Yeah, I didn't yeah. realize that it was his human body until like a chapter in, and I was like, oh, that's why no, he's dead, dead. Yeah, his ma- his man body <laughs> that we, is piloting the three his died meat body, the thing, his yeah. meat his, form, yeah. yeah, his meat space. He they, he does at one point in the book call it like meat space. Yeah, in the does book, he? which yeah. is definitely a reference to Griffin McElroy. It must yeah. be. <laughs> yeah, he's like they they yeah. want to rent out your existence in the meat space or something. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is buck wild. <laughs> they were all on the Joko Cruise together. It's interesting. There's That's a little bit cute. of time. So anyway, um, here we go. Back to the book. Um, so they're investigating. Uh, Chris Shane, they're back. Our good detective person. Chris Shane, Leslie Van. They're back. They're investigating. Um, also, Chris's parents are looking to maybe invest in the leagues because they're a bunch of new Overwatch leagues. I yeah. thought, by the way, the fact that, like, the relationship that Chris has with his parents is really interesting because he doesn't have that stereotypical, like, I hate my rich parents. Yeah, yeah. He's like, just like, they have a good relationship yeah. even though they are super, super rich and, like, rich people kind of have an iffy... Yeah, a lot of the time. Oh, yeah, but anyway, I thought that True. was sweet. Also, Chris is black, which yeah. is fun. <laughs> I didn't realize that until, like, halfway through the book. Oh, that's fun for you. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun for me. It's like, chwa. Thank you. <laughs> well, no, it's just like... Oh, I, mean, I can't curse in this. I'm sorry. You at, Oh, nope. There it is. I can't. I'm so There's sorry. There's the one. <gasps> oh, Chrissy. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, no, Chrissy. Was it fun <laughs> for you hearing your name that much, by the way? Not really. <laughs> Are you Chris Shane? Are you Chris That's Shane? That's me. <laughs> okay, so... Me. I'm here, you can guys. Can someone please move the plot forward of this book? Okay, so, like, can we talk about, for a second, about the whole, like, being Hayden sure. thing? Because it's an interesting metaphor that they're trying to set up about, like, disabled people being basically... 
it be, basically it being difficult to navigate the world as a disabled person. But then there's also an element of like, I didn't really identify as a hate. I'm like, mm, that's, what? it seems to be a mixed metaphor here. What? How do you mean? I don't, I don't know what the okay. second half of your sentence that you trailed off was supposed to be. Okay. So like when they have that conversation about like the sex and gender thing with the threeps. Oh yeah, the weird kinky threeps. Sure. And they seem to be trying to make like a metaphor about different sexualities. Sure. Which doesn't necessarily have any tie-in of like, hey, being a Hayden is difficult. They're facing a lot of. I think it's issues. just like a. We- it's a, just a weird thing part that got happen. So like the reason I appreciated that is because one of the things I've thought about thinking about threeps and Hayden's way too much is things that. like yeah like. You how would sex work? And also, like, how would gender identity work? It reminds me of Ghost in the Shell of like post human gender and identity is basically like a non issue because if you can upload your brain into different bodies, their gender and sex aren't a thing. See, yeah. also, why are all the Transformers coded male? See, sure. also, Lindsay Ellis's beautiful essay is sure. about that. Yeah. Like, what, what is that? Yeah. Why is that the case? Yeah. It's yeah. interesting. So, yeah. um, you should also read essays about posthumanism because it's super interesting in terms of like androids, of like they don't have gender because no, it don't. doesn't matter because your brain can be in any type of. Anyway, it's an interesting thing. I just thought that sometimes it was like mm, that's interesting. Yeah, it did seem just to be something he threw in, but like it, it made sense to me because like that that would be something people are talking about. That makes so sense. So it's mentioned, but it's not relevant to the plot. So it's not. Yeah, I think it's just like a little. It's like a little bit of adage with like just the the subplot of that whole affair thing, which is very. It's very. This plot, folks, makes the first one look easy. There are like six different affairs that happen in this book. It's true. Do you think that John Scalzi was just? It's more than. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I think it's more than two. Uh, Chapman, Kim, Kim, Kim Silva, Silva, and then uh, the, Lady and Chapman, and Lady Chap- Chuck- Rhonda Sean. Anton, or whatever. Oh, hey, right, the third. Hey, no, quit cursing Alton. on our good. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, right. and then Anton the third is also, one is, yeah, is the also integrator and else. the man who hangs himself, which is a plot point we are about and to Kaufman, get to. And there's four. What's the fourth Isn't Kaufman point? having sex with someone, too? Do you think John Scalzi was horny? Were Kaufman and Lena having sex with each other or something? That was the third one. No, but then Ortiz and somebody else. Ortiz, Ortiz and Chapman. Ortiz is Lady Chapman. Chapman and oh, Silva. Yeah. Three. And then Still, three affairs Kaufman is a lot. And... It's a lot for one book. And I'm sorry for cursing. I didn't mean to do it. I'm sorry. I'm used to cursing on our podcast. I didn't mean to. It's a bit much. Hey, and if you want to hear both of necessary. us curse a lot, listen to anime Zane. No one wants that. I do. <laughs> so this guy, so I, this guy who works for the league said, "Cut the feed because then you can see the feed. There's a live feed of every Hellcat game, and he's like, cut the feed.' And then they're like, of why Chapman's you, health stuff. Of health, yeah. And then he's like, why, why'd you do that? And he's like, well, I'll be, I'll be down. Come up to my hotel room in a minute. And then they show up, and he ha- hanged himself. Yeah. So that's a day later. Yeah, and they're like, why did he do that? And like the, 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 it's a weird discrepancy because like in the past, specifically when something kind of similar happened, uh, and a player had a seizure, um, the the people in control of the feed were told like play that up, that's drama. Yeah, Which yeah, by yeah. the way, I think is a fascinating thing about like another weird disability thing of like dehumanizing disabled people in a way that's pretty yeah. brutal. Yeah. Like, why would anyone want to view that? That's terrible and horrific. I mean, there's a I mean, bunch that's... of there's a bunch of videos on the internet of like people killing people with hammers, babe. Yeah, it's yeah. I'm, it's tight. Like, what I'm saying is that it's bad. You guys are ruining gah, my gah, podcast. Gah, 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 gah. <laughs> Whose fault was that one? Yours for bringing it up. So, what happens next? Anybody but me. This uh, is the part where I started to get lost because there's. It's, it's a lot going There's on. There's a whole so thing they, with, like, overseas leagues of Hilketa and, like... Yeah, yeah. Um, that's... We'll, we'll worry about that later. Okay. Next up, they're like, hey, go talk to Chapman's wife. And yeah. you guys, you, General Alliance, already know that there was a bunch of affairs going on, but we did not when we were reading this first. Um, so, uh, Chris teleports his brain into another three body in Philly, maybe? I think this Baltimore, is the, it's Boston, Philadelphia. I don't know. It's Philadelphia. <laughs> in Philadelphia. Because the whole thing, I the whole time I was just like, are we going to see Charlie Day? And then I realized, I'm reading a book. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> so he ports in, uh, and he's in. He it's he's running out of battery because Philadelphia is full of incompetents who don't know how to charge their only guest three. Uh, that's true. That's Chris, another thing about like the access thing about like hey, fucking some places don't have ramps. Yeah, some some taxi <laughs> cabs sucks. don't have chargers. Um, yeah. There are, I think, exactly like I can't remember. There's in between twelve and twenty elevators on the subway in the whole darn city. Yes, New York is ridiculous when it comes to accessibility for wheelchairs. It's mm-hmm. absurd. Boo! Boo yeah, come get on that. Do better. But um, yeah. Um. So he goes and talks to Chapman's wife, who's like, "Yeah, everyone wants me to be super upset, and I am, but also." Guy was definitely cheating on me. So, sidebar, Chapman seems like a redundant name. Continue. Yeah. Um, uh, also, also, we get a little information about how how kind of players live, because uh, uh, Altman? No. What was his name? The Coffin? caretaker. Oh, Ortiz. Ortiz. Uh, Ortiz. L- uh, what was his first name? Alton. There's Alton. Alton, Alton Ortiz. His Pedro. His yeah. Pedro. Alton Ortiz was his caretaker and was talking about like, okay, this was his crash, uh, where his body was kept, um, and here's like the nutrient and, supplement that he was the, using. And that, that I checked on every day, made sure he wasn't doing essentially steroids, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, because there's this thing started by the league that was saying, oh, he was having trouble at home, and I think he was doing some of the drugs, and that's probably how it happened. Definitely not our fault. Okay, bye. But then uh, there's also a thing where, like, <clears throat> league-sponsored supplements or something, and yep. that's a thing that's fine to use, which like I didn't Gatorade. understand. Yeah. Okay. It's like, like three a... Gatorade. Okay. Three big. And And there's a company that makes nutritional supplements that this the, that sponsors Hellcat as a whole, and then some players have individual sponsors. Uh, like Nike. Or, like, it's it's weirdly similar to, like... It's how... almost like it's a metaphor for sports. <laughs> it is sports. <laughs> but, like, sports and sponsorships and how, like, they misuse human bodies. It's almost like that, about how people get exploited when they play football and then they ruin their bodies. It's almost like that, babe. And their brains. And their brains. More of their brains. Their brains. Most of I their saw brains. that Will Smith movie I know. <laughs> Tell the truth. I, I, Tell I the did. Truth. I didn't. No. Did you uh, see concussion? No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> I saw the trailer is what I meant to say. Anyway. Uh, it was like, yeah, honestly, that was like the same movie. <laughs> um, I mean, this book is about as... On the nose about that as possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's um, a social mm-hmm. metaphor. That's what sci-fi mostly is, babe. Okay, I didn't say anything. Okay. Yeah, I know. You don't like it. I didn't dislike this book. I know, but you don't like social metaphor in general. I think sci-fi sometimes doesn't do it that well. Continue um, with the plot. So... The, they they find he's like okay so you Mrs. Chapman asks at one point is someone cheating if they're in a robot body like can I say my husband was cheating because even though I know his body was in the house with me because I know that his robot body was definitely sleeping around which I thought was weird because like absolutely it is yeah like, what are you talking about you, you made like, an agreement and then they violated that yeah. agreement yeah. which, is, which like, is what Chris says yeah, um, you're in another body like I don't anyway yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, it's just like at this point, it's not something that's come up. So, it's in, a, I in guess life. it's an interesting, like, philosophical <laughs> question for like a second. But then yeah. it's also kind of an interesting thing of like, on that same note, if he, if Chris had said no, it's not cheating, well, then at one point, is it like if you're drunk? How or much, if, yeah, how much in a body do you have to, to be, be for it to be anyway? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, what is truth? What yeah. Is Chris a says, body? you guys, what agree- is a self? You guys agreed to not sleep around, presumably, and he did. So yes, he was cheating. How do you? How did you know he was cheating? And uh, uh, Mrs. Chapman's like, oh, he has a he has an apartment that he put under our company's name because he's, he's a, a dumbass. Idiot. Uh, hey, oh. is that one okay? I think that was okay. That did you gets... ask me? Why would you ask me? I have to do three bleeps. This is the I think most. It's four. This is the most bleeps. Tim Curry. I'm gonna have to call him. I'm sorry, Tim. I think I bring a fun spice to the show. <laughs> <laughs> so they move on. They go to the. Uh, they go to the the secret apartment because Mrs. Chapkin could just give, give him Chris keys. permission to enter. Um, but it's on fire. But it's on fire. It's super on fire for some reason. So, it's also on fire right when he gets there, which yeah. I thought was an interesting, like, okay, yeah. your timing was perfect, question so, mark. Chris, it's, drama, also, it's also, by the way, 
notably not that nice of a place to yeah. be like your love shack. It's like a motel or something like that. No, it's it's called like strawberry. Name, it's like strawberry something. It's like yeah, not a great um, area. I don't, I don't remember what it's called, but I think strawberries in it. And it is. yeah, it's not a great area. <laughs> um, but they're like, hey, there's a person inside still. What are we going to do? She's an old lady. And Chris is like, I'll enter the building. And then Chris enters the building. And then uh, saves the lady. And then they're and like, then a, there's a small a cat. child's like, there's a cat in there. Are you going to save the cat? And he's like, which apartment? And he's like, oh, it happens to be the apartment I wanted to go into to begin if, with. If the kid knew about the cat, did he also know about the weird sex stuff? Probably. Probably. Yikes. Yeah. He, he cleaned those robots off. Oh, come on. That's not funny. With they're, a toothbrush. <laughs> with a toothbrush because there's no fluids, babe. No fluids, no sexual fluids here. With we the robots. We don't know that there's not simulated fluids. It's true. Scalzi? <laughs> it's Scalzi at us. <laughs> Listen to that. this podcast and to this part, and she's then Hugo Award winning author, get back to us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so, um, uh, so Chris does go up there. The cat runs out. Uh, Chris, like, take, like, try, like, fall- with. Chris's camera like maps the room and then he as falls it's on fire. through the floor. Yeah, Chris is about well, he's about to they're about to jump through the window and uh they finally run out of battery. And also there's a threep there and it's alive. We didn't talk about that. Yeah, there's yeah. three threeps in the room. One of them pops comes to life at the end of the experience. No. I I can't remember which one it was. It was, was the Ridgy one. Yeah, it was a Ridgy one. Cause and I'm glad he. Cause so there's some weird sex robots that had ridges rather than traditional like human genitalia. Cause I'm glad he went with that because the idea of like just a, a hard penis. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> three <laughs> on a three running through the flames <laughs> trying to catch something or get something out Chef's of it. Chef's kiss. Yeah, just. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, the um Chris's threep melts and yeah. everyone's upset at back at the Philly office. Yeah. Um But they're like, hey, it was necessary, he was saving life, and then a cat, and there's like, what's the big deal about the cat? But he goes after his threep melts, he gets another threep and then come because he has end- they have endless amounts, amounts of, of money. Threeps. Yeah. Um and then they they catch the cat then, right? Yeah, that's later. Um, well, they oh, that's bring later. the cat like, back to the apartment, right? Yeah. And then everybody loves it, which I thought was very cute. Of like, yeah. I want yeah. a dog now. The, um, His roommates are very fun. Yeah. yeah. The twins are my favorite. They're really cute. Yeah, and yeah. Scalzi. Never answering that question. Yep, and, and telling us that. Thank and you, Scalzi. I'm, uh, and I'm going to not bleep this one out, you <gasps> son of a bitch. <laughs> oh. Scalzi. Wait, not telling us which one. I literally said that out loud when I, when I read that. Yeah, when so I the twins part. share a three. Yeah, and, Justin and Justine or something. Yeah, yeah, and in the first book, they're like, they share a three. We'll get into it later. And then I, at Comic-Con, asked him, hey, what's up with that? And he goes, I'll talk about it later in the sequel. And I was like, that's cool. But he goes, but I left it there just as like a little flavor. I was like, that's neat, John, but how would that work? And then he he's like about to go, oh, this is how it works. And then the plot gets in the way. I really liked it, though. Yeah. I thought it was funny. I think it the was. idea of sharing a body with another person is yeah. really fun. Yeah, I would want to do that. Like, would you want like, to do that with me? No. <laughs> um, but specifically him saying, Miles. Like, I was told I was, I was was told that they would again? explain why they did this. No, I just... No, he's complaining about you not wanting to share a body with him. Yeah, um, how dare you? I'm, 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 I'm sorry, sweetie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys uh, could share a body if that's what you no, need. No. No thanks. No. Okay. Too much hair. <laughs> Not enough hair. Wait, no, that's on me. <laughs> Wait. So. Can I have your hair? That's all I want. Okay. Um, can we talk about the subplot about the trying to get the dad to invest in the whatever? Sure. About Amelie Parker. Yeah, and the dad. Amelie Parker's uh, starting a new uh, a startup company Amelie? called Mobilon. Yeah. Uh, and at one point, Chris comes home to talk to their parents, um, and and Marcus Shane is in the middle of a conversation with Amelie Parker. Uh, Parker? Yeah. Uh, and Marcus is like, hey, Chris, what do you think of this idea? And basically, it's they, they describe it as timeshare threeps. Yeah. It's like a subscription service, and you can get into threeps whenever you need to. In and, any city. Yeah, and and Chris is not super pleased with this. Mm-hmm. 
But that it that's exploited. That seems it seems frustr that's frustrating to me because on the one hand it is, but it's also granting access. Granting access specifically after Abrams Kettering was passed. Yeah. Like since Abrams Kettering was in fact passed and there's no way to fix that, okay. there are people out there who could use a program like is this. Is the name Kettering based off of the science t scientist? Sloan Kettering? Yeah. Well, Don't know. Well, that's the foundation, yeah. right? But, like, the Kettering, um, no, he's um, an inventor, he's an engineer. No. There he was. Well, maybe that's what he's named after, but the Abrams Kettering is a the bill two. that was passed in the last... No, 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 I'm saying, but, like, is that a reference? I don't know. It's possible. Okay. Probably. He could not know about that. Because the Hubbard thing reminds me of L. Ron Hubbard. Yes. Okay. There seems like there's a lot of... A theme. Name he he also happening. does that. He does that in Old Man's... Uh, his other series, Old Man's War. Where were we? Can you guys remember Can audience? Free. Remember where we were? Yeah, we're talking we were about, talking about, about Amelie, Amelie trying to basically oh, yeah. like commodify something that like people need to survive. And mm -hmm. Charles is like... Like yeah, bottled Charles. water? And another Cold thing Charles. is... What's the dad's name? Marcus Shane. Marcus, Marcus Shane. Marcus yeah. Shane. Yeah. Um, the other thing is... Uh, Charles? Because I said Charles Kettering, and I was stuck on Charles. Let Miles... Come on. <laughs> support him in this moment. I lost it. I don't know. So Amelie Parker is trying to monopolize the the, the the other thing is, on the one hand, yes, there are people who can't afford to buy, buy Threeps, so it would be nice for them to be able to pay a lower subscription service okay. and have access to Threeps when they need it. The other reason that they want to make this company is because eventually... Um, non Haydens are going to get to use Threeps, and a lot of them are like... A lot of people want to try it because... Oh my gosh, I would do this in a second. I want to be able to use Threeps so badly. For um, sexual needs? Oh, yes. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Um, also, being able to, <laughs> I like, want to teleport. Do my own body. <laughs> can you imagine what travel would be like? You could just yeah. teleport to other countries. Yeah, but like, I want to do my own body. It would be majestic and wonderful. Not the sex body? thing, yep. the teleporting thing. Thank okay. You. Uh, but. Uh, and they won't want a lot of them won't want to buy threeps, so they will just pay for access to them via a service like this. Uh, and that's the thing. Like they want to get into the market now and say they're doing it to help uh, Haydens, and but what they really want is to get a foothold for when the l much larger market comes of non Haydens using threeps. Yes, and it's capitalism. Also yeah. notable that Amelie has very rich parents as well. Yes. Yes. Notable. Um, I mean, it's notable for what happens later. Yeah, right? it's notable. I'm setting things up. I know, uh, babe. You're doing a great job. Then, then Van and Chris go to Philadelphia and have a conversation with the Philadelphia FBI. Yeah. Who are like, hey, you ruined a threep. We're going to charge you for it. And Chris is like, that actually seems fair, I guess. And, and Van then Van like, railroads no. them because that's what Van does. Van is boss and just railroads people. It's like, hey, that's not going to happen. I know what you're trying to do, and none of this would have happened if the three would have been charged, which is your agent's job. So no. you're going to take care of this. Um, and also, uh, if you do not, we're going to uh, charge you with, like, it's the Americans with Disabilities yeah, yeah, yeah. Act. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna sue you for discrimination. Yeah, yeah. Against someone with a disability. And, and also, they're not only a person with this disability, they're the, they're the most famous person with this disability. Yeah, so which you're comes up gonna... later. Why is he so famous? Is he just he... like a social, was he like a socialite kid? I don't understand well, why so, he was so famous as a Marcus kid. Shane Mark was a Shane. famous basketball player. His kid got Hayden's, so there, he, he became, became like a well, huge became, advocate. Uh, yeah. Okay. Became the poster child. Yeah, like Marcus like was like a Magic Johnson thing. Sure, but like, yeah, and and there's like as a child, Chris did so much to like get it visibility out there, visibility and like make people see Threeps as human. Um, they mention it briefly in this one, but like one of the most famous fo photographs of their time was the photograph of Him a the baby, yeah. a baby robot handing a, a peace lily. To the Pope. To the Pope. Pope. <laughs> Which is... <laughs> Which is a photo I want to see so bad, and it doesn't it. exist. Can you draw us that picture, please? I, I guess. Please. Thank you. I guess. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah. Uh, so, quickly, so, what else happens in this book? Um, As you can see, there's a lot going on. Can we? Yeah, can we just hit bullet points? Okay. Um, Kim Silva was having an affair with Dwayne Chapman. They were on the same team. Um... 
Kim Silva was blackmailing the league. Can yeah. You talk about that? That was yeah. a complicated, weird subplot thing. It's, yeah, so it's they, they find, the, they yeah. find plots, the cat. Plots, 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 plots. Van and, uh, Van and, um, and Chris go back to the burned down apartment and they find the cat and there's a data crypt on its collar. Much like the movie Men in Black. Yeah. Um, is there, that one was an entire galaxy. Um, who's to say this isn't? Uh, the book does later on. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> um, so uh, they they take that to Tony, Chris's roommate, who does who works for the bureau for whenever they need tech stuff done. Um, and so, he's yeah. like, I can't get it. I can't get in. Blah blah blah. Uh, meantime, in the meantime, their building gets attacked. I'm skipping a bunch. I don't yeah. know if we're missing relevant information. We'll find out. Uh, they all right, so they've also all right, so it's also one of those things of like presumably you are also eventually going to listen to this book. Please do it. I like it very There's much. There's no way good. someone can summarize this concisely. There's yeah. also a fair amount of subplots that really don't I feel anywhere. like don't do much. Yeah, there's a there's a part where Chris goes and talks to to Kim Silva. Yeah. And that's when we find out that they're having an affair. It's they like put um book. they put Chris into a scout three. And uh, Chris fights with Kim in a tank three just like, for fun. For fun. Uh, this is a fun thing that definitely won't ever come up later in the book. Yeah, and then uh, when Chris is at home, their house gets attacked by someone in a tank three, um, and it, they almost burn the house down. And they like and the cat, do a lot of damage. Um, the cat. They're clearly after the cat because they go after the cat, and they're like, why? Um, and then they find out, they take it to Tony's room, and so the data vault, because he was having a hard time getting the encryption out of the data vault, he figured out that if you're, they had the cat next to it, it decrypts it somehow with the DNA. Yeah. So they're trying to get rid of the cat, so they say, oh, well, lie, the cat's dead, in quotes. Yeah, and they sneak the cat out, bring it to the FBI, and have a, and what it is is, um, like... All the files that Kim was using to blackmail. Yeah. Uh, like re- receipts and, and transactions and stuff mm-hmm. from the league, mm-hmm. um, which shows like because a were... super complex money laundering scheme. Yeah, they were money laundering. Through... This is the like foreign leagues thing that I feel like was not necessary. Yeah, in the in the past, in the past, this company Lab- Labrum, yeah, yeah. Uh, had laundered money through uh, one of Amelie Parker's companies because uh, Labrum's owned by Amelie Parker's parents. Mm. Amelie Parker like creates a company, her parents then somehow magically launder money through it with, with, with cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrency, which was buck and, wild to me. Yeah, uh, and then they... They're like they, they basically stocks, buy basically, and like yeah. pumping and dumping their own stocks or something. Yeah, and they're like, hey, we're going to do this exact same thing again. Overseas. Overseas in the Hellcat Leagues. Yep, and um, so all the evidence is in that data thing. And basically, from here on out, just Chris confronts her with it, right? Yeah, yeah. There's also uh, there's a lot of there's also a, a lot, lot of more. There's also a lot of deaths and chases and yeah, gunplay. Yeah, someone but that's not really necessary. It, for it them. looks like Chapman Miss Chapman. Dies, like yeah, Miss Chapman like tries to kill Kim Silva and then kills herself. Is what the story is. And then a bunch of thugs die, and which is and what then... gets Kim to tell. Chris about the blackmail is like, hey, yeah, people yeah, are trying yeah. to kill me. Um, and then at the very end, there's that whole thing with like Alton, the caretaker, and then his cousin is part yeah. of the story. Yeah, his uh, his cousin was the caretaker of the apartment. Uh, so Alton had a bag of supplements. But... No, Pedro was also Pedro was sleeping with Chap with no, Mrs. Chap. No, no. Altman. Uh, Al- Altman, Altman was sleeping with Chap. Okay, yeah, Altman yeah. was sleeping with Chap, and Pedro was just not involved. But he was going to try and pin it on his cousin. Okay, yeah. and then he's like, no, 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 no. Wait, Pedro was the one that set the apartment on fire. Yeah, accidentally, but yes. Because <laughs> he he was messing with the electrical thing that was charging the. Three. Yeah, so they could get evidence for the Chapman divorce. Hearings. Yeah. yeah, and it just like accidentally caught on fire. Yeah, which is um, a weird like red herring that. Oh boy. Yeah, uh, but um, they're like, hey, we need to find out what was in the nutri- nutritional supplements because it turns out the nutritional supplements that Might Chapman have... had weren't the ones he was supposed to. So yeah. like, oh, well, because they Chris accuses either Alton or Pedro, I don't remember, of like. Fu- uh, Messing with his I- IV. Stop. Yeah, it's um, it's Alton. for killing him. Oh, it is yeah. Alton. Okay, and Alton, and for and, insurance and like league benefits. Yeah, yeah, and then because uh, he was sleeping with Chapman's wife. Um, mm-hmm. and then he's like, I didn't. Uh, can't you look at the the the, the nutrients and see what was in it? He's like, no, that was 
they they messed that up in the Philly office. Uh, if we had more of that shipment of supplements, maybe. He's like, and ah, but like actually, ones. I have those. Cool. Um, and they find out the the FBI agent from Philly, Ramsey? the one that messed up. Is uh, that a the... character in Lock In? No. no. Okay, that was a whack character introduction and immediate dev. Yeah. Like, it was, uh, like, like Ramsey. Two chapters? Yeah. Was, well, it technically was introduced at the first scene with the Philly office where they oh, tried to railroad yeah. her. Oh, she was there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She was the one that didn't charge the three. Yeah. And so she's a low level oh, FBI agent. Okay. But she so, wasn't, like, very no. present. But she was trying to switch the supplements. They catch her doing that, and that's fine. And like, hey. And then so they're like, okay, we're going to have you still do the handoff. We're going to track you. We're going to catch these guys. No, well, she no, gets shot like... in the head in public, which is buck wild. Wait, no. Yeah. I feel like you're skimming over a huge part here which is that Ramsey took a Ramsey an FBI agent took a bribe to destroy evidence yes. yeah because yes. there's and not a lot of money going around these days yeah but like that's <laughs> that's buck wild and I feel like that is and then she gets shot in the head for it but I feel so. like that isn't dwelled upon for long enough and then no. look how wild that is yeah. I don't think it's that wild babe yeah. um, honest to god I mean, with I, the history of what the Bureau does, I'm not surprised at all. Okay, I just feel like in the book it could have been a bigger deal. Specifically because they kind of established that she's not very good at her job. So, And, and, and it turns and out the reason she was taking the bribe me. is because uh, she was probably going to get fired. Like, this was the her not charging the three, and then that being the blame for them having to pay for the room yeah. three was the last straw. She probably wasn't going to have a job anymore. So yeah, she was taking they, the bribe for they, that. They offered her money for her parents' medical treatment, right? Wasn't that the whole thing? Was that her parents were sick? Yeah, her, she's paying for... Mm, she was paying, uh, yeah, wasn't her, she paying for somebody's medical bills? Yeah, yeah her mother's medical bills. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. That's but the anyway. first person who was being blackmailed to break the law. We'll get to the second one in a little <laughs> bit. Um, but then there's a chase scene. Three people die. They track them down, and then another. Yeah, they're like, they're like, dies. oh man, the people who killed Ramsey. Chris, did you get pictures of them? Yes. Okay, they here's who they them. are. Oh, it also said it's so then Chris we, gets hit by a car, and another twice. one of his body gets destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> it's a running bit. It's fun. Yeah. Um, um, so and then so we're introduced to these bad people in the car. And, All those bad people in the car. And then five minutes later, they're like, hey, we should go to this uh, integrator who's a shady integrator but integrates with Amelie Parker. She was mentioned earlier in the book. We just didn't mention her in the synopsis. Lena? Um, yeah, Lena. Dunham? Um, Parker, I believe is her name, right? No, no. Lena, shoot. Fowler. Fowler. Um, Fowler. Nice. Yeah. Uh, they go to her place, and she's dead, and so are the three bad people. Yeah. There's yeah. clearly was it? a fire fight. Wait, was it Lena with Kaufman when he killed himself or something yes. like that? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, they, they found out, evidence of that as well. Turns no. out they were having an affair as well. And that is, is the, the fourth, that's one. The fourth one. one. That's the fourth no, one. That's the third one. Ah. I think it's four. I don't care. Please proceed. Okay. Um... Um, so they're all dead, and they're like, then yeah, they, and there's then, a locker full of evidence that yeah, she writes their she, name on. The, the yeah, the the code. There's a code on Fowler's wrist, which uh, opens up a safe, and they're like, oh man, if she had survived, she might. They saw they they see a fight where basically these uh, she's the talking camera. to these three men because there's a camera in the vault or whatever. And yeah. she reaches on the table and grabs a knife and almost kills all of them and they get shot. And they're like, oh, if she had grabbed the gun under the table, maybe she'd be alive. And like, if she was alive, she wouldn't have given us this information. Like, she wrote it on her wrist so that if she died, we'd find it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and then all of the people would go to jail. Yeah. And they found a whole bunch of evidence linking Amelie Parker to Blackmail. all of Blackmail. And, um, yeah. And yeah. Then and then there's the- like 30 minutes of literally just Chris and Amelie, like, talking. on a on a digital island like explaining the plan and she's like but you don't have the evidence and, and he's like, like well yeah. your parents hate you <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's uh actually perfect so it turns out how this whole thing came about um that we also crazy. didn't go over we didn't go over a tentex but like they discover Ugh. it's weird because in the sidebar a tentex sounds like a terrible like figurine game from the early aughts continue yeah, yeah. um uh so the thing is, the the spikes uh, in brain activity in Chapman before he died uh, look very similar to another event, which is the the man the, who had a seizure and mm-hmm. then was cut from the league. And what they the league they look at it and Clemente Salcedo was his name. I remember because yes. I wrote it down. Yes. Um. <laughs> uh. And it tur- they find a co- a chemical compound that would have done this, and it originally was um chunky. 
Yeah, it was originally <laughs> chunky. Um, it was used in three... I don't know if it was to treat attention deficit disorder, but in my head it was. It was. It was absolutely was. Okay. It was. But the thing is, like, you put it in someone with Hayden's, and then you gave their brain, like, electrical stimulus... Um, but they found out it could have like a, like weird effects on the brain that would plateau in the way that these people's brain activity seems to have plateaued during their events. Um, so they were like, hey, Ollie Parker, you needed your company mobile on so you could launder a bunch of money again. Uh, but people weren't investing in it as much as they invested in your last company. So you decided to give them another benefit. Like if you invest... I can fix Helketa games. Yep. And the way she was going to do it is people with labrum supplements, they were tuning uh, amounts of a Tentex in the supplement so that they could... Uh, Make like, them perform. Yeah, specific. hamper their yeah. performance. The thing is you have to be very careful and specific about how you do it. Or if like someone gets a, a supplement with a Tentex in it that was meant for someone else, uh, the levels could be bad and it could kill them during the game, which is what happened to Chapman. It was meant for Silva. Those, yeah, the supplements were meant for Silva and they were supposed to just throw her off her game. But because it was with someone else... He died. He died. I don't know if you guys know this, but Dwayne Chapman is dead. Um... Yeah. And, and then, so are yeah, so and, is his uh, wife, and so are three goons and an integrator. A lot of people and Kaufman, and and, like and, people and an FBI agent and an FBI agent and someone hang, hung, hangs themselves. Yeah, they're like and so they was they Kaufman think, suicide a real suicide? Yes, yes. I don't remember. After, okay, there were some they they weren't sure because like the damage to the neck could have been caused by something else and then exacerbated by the hanging, but they weren't positive. And, and then, like so there were a lot had, of conversations in this book, by the way, of like, was it a suicide? Was it not a suicide? Too many, I yeah. would say. Um, yeah. But in the end, it, it was a suicide and they found the note. The note was left for Fowler specifically. Mm -hmm. So when Fowler died, they found the actual suicide note. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Because so no, and so, an affair. Yeah. So, um, Amelie Parker is like, oh, that's an interesting theory. But I'm going to this place with no extradition laws, and I might just stay there for a while. And also, Chris do you is... want a job still? Because earlier in the book, she yeah. had offered him a job. And then Chris is like, you're on your parents' plane, and we told them everything. You're going back to, I guess, Italy. You're going to then... land in Paris and then get extradited. Yeah. Paris uh, doesn't let you extradite. I think it's oh. Italy. It is Italy. Is it? Oh. Yeah, because I think Oops. Roman plans case in Paris. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, and he's like, you can't do that. My parents can't do that. And he's like, not only that, but there's some stuff they're throwing on you. I'm pretty sure it's actually their fault, but, um, but, 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 but you goofed. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. Never trust your family. And then there's a, there's an outro scene with like what the head council of yeah. Helketa and they're like, Hey, you probably knew about all this. And he's like, maybe. I'll never tell. He just like looks at him like Benicio del Toro and Star Wars. He goes, maybe. And yeah. then he walks you away. You couldn't not. You couldn't not. <laughs> You yeah. just had to. And that's that's head on. It is a lot. It is a it is a big old mess. I did love it helplessly. But it's a lot really, of that's I do just love the way John so, Scalzi writes. So. There were like six characters about... that I have written down mm -hmm. that I could not figure out what. Medina, don't know who that is. That's the head council that I mentioned at the end there. Okay, who's Rishu? Is oh, your... that's actually, that's not a person that's. The company, one of the companies that the Hellcat League was going to expand to. Is uh, Semenov the same thing? Is no, that that Semenov is? is I think the that's Russian one of the, guy, right? I think he was the driver for the company owned by Rishu. Okay. Side note, want to talk about Will Wheaton's performance in a minute, for a minute here. Number one, does a decent job the whole time. But there's a, specifically a Russian person that is mentioned in one of the early scenes, and you hear him make two choices back to back very quickly. He does a Russian accent for a very short line that this character has. He goes, but what about this? Oh, yeah. And then the next time you hear that character talk, he is not doing the accent. <laughs> He's like, also, nope. It's like he nope. was he was in the booth, he tried the accent, and through the glass, the director just looked at him and was like, nah, not nah, no, 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 we're gonna keep going, but just don't but, do it again. But you know what they did keep in is that awkward Indian accent that he felt the need to do with the taxi driver. That's true. They kept that in. Yeah. Also, he pronounces lounge in a weird way. Did he you pick this up? There's a part where somebody <laughs> says that there's, he says that somebody's laying on a chase lounge, but he says chase. He says a chase lounge. <laughs> Yeah, she like long. a she's long. Or like a long or something. And I'm like, <laughs> did they just misspell the word lounge on his like page or, or page? And like he didn't get corrected. It made me laugh so hard. Like, But yeah, Will Wheaton overall good performance. But if you want to hear me talk about how Will Wheaton talks, just um, at me on Twitter and I will send you a, a long rambling impression of him uh, in an MP3 format. 
Does but, anybody have guesses, by the way? Did anybody, like, guess at some point in the beginning who, who killed them? No. With these, I can never tell. Okay. Yeah. Not, not really. Because no. I tried to guess. And who did you guess? <laughs> okay. Was it Marcus Shane? Yeah. That's what I thought. Because I didn't realize that he was, like, a character that was, like, in it a lot and had a good relationship with his kid. Uh-huh. Because I, when he I saw He killed somebody for, the, for his kid in the last book. I read that online, yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize he was, like, a character that was He's in a it good a dad. Lot. He's yeah, a good dad. I didn't dad. get that. Yeah. Because I'd never read that's it. That's so sweet, honey. So I assumed that Mark <laughs> did it because he was, like, making deals with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. he did it. That makes sense. Overall, I think it was also an interesting exploration of, like, just what is a new sport. And, like, yeah. <laughs> also what is, like how sports leagues work in general in a way that I'm not really familiar with. What are sports? I don't know. What, what are sports? What it's specifically, it specifically because I equated it with uh, Overwatch? Overwatch, and I have been paying more attention to the Overwatch League than I've ever paid attention to any sport. Uh, it was fun for me in it's that kind of a cool aspect. parallel of, like, somebody controlling another person's body. It'd be like if someone died playing Overwatch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What are frogs? <laughs> Do you guys have anything else that you need to say about this particular book other than y'all should read it? It's good. Oh, wait, I have something. <laughs> oh, the widow has something. <laughs> the Dwayne thing reminded Dwayne. me of a really old video of the kid dancing. And if you Google Dwayne with three exclamation points, you'll find a really joyful video of a kid in a 90s <laughs> TV show dancing. That's just my take. <laughs> On a similar note, um, did you see that the Walmart yodeling kid got a record deal? I'm proud of him. Okay. <laughs> I haven't seen the Walmart yodeling kid. I I've heard it referenced. I don't actually, I've never seen it. I have had that kid's song stuck in my head for like 25 days, I would say. Okay, so um, I like the book. I think John did a good job. I think I like Lock In more. How would you rate it out of 10, Christina? Out of 10? Yeah, what out of 10? Yeah, 6 out of 10. It was six enjoyable, out. but I wouldn't read it again. Okay. Miles. Too many characters, too many uh, people. 8. I will read it again so many times. I've already listened to it twice. I would say a, probably about a 7, because I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. I'll listen to it again, but it's because I like the world that he builds. Not necessarily a story he decided to tell this time. And with that... And this I call this meeting a germed. Oh wow! Gavel sound. Jacques. Say oui pour moi, moi pour lui dans la vie. Il me l'a dit, la joie pour la fille. Et dès que je l'aperçois, alors je sens en moi. Mon cœur qui 